Hello everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 73rd episode of Coffee with Jody. And today I'm going to be talking about Employee Appreciation Day, which is next week. And ideas that you can take on to actually show your appreciation for your team. So Employee Appreciation Day. Um, I'll tell you, I started to laugh because, I mean, obviously we appreciate our employees all the time, every day, but it's a national holiday that this year falls on March the 5th of Friday. And that's a week or so from now. We will do the same old tired lunch somewhere for Employee Appreciation Day. And I was thinking, you know, that's kind of a tired, doesn't require a lot of thought way of showing appreciation. It's nice and we're gonna do it, but I didn't wanna stop there. So what can you do? One thing you can do, which is what I did, is you can go on, you can type in ideas for Employee Appreciation Day, and there's a whole bunch of stuff, and so a whole bunch of gifts, and whatever different companies, and Etsy, and this and that, have got some employee uh, gifts you know, sorted out. Um, but there were some others that were just different ideas, like you know, happy hour or a virtual um, scavenger hunt uh, online on Zoom. Lots of different you know, kind of creative ideas. But one of the things I'd like to do here is to tie in what we've been talking about in the last couple of videos to, to Employee Appreciation Day. And that is, what is it that motivates your team member, that particular team member. So I'm gonna talk about Louisa, who's actually filming me right now, and what motivates her. She's got a couple of things. Her number one is altruistic, which is the drive to help. So I could actually give her an afternoon off or give her some opportunity to go out and do some kind of service in the world, and she would probably appreciate that. The next one that's high for her is learner, and that's one that's anything that she wants to learn. Maybe there's a course she'd like to take, whether it's related to the business or something that she would like to learn on her own. But this is a young lady who has a love of learning, whether it's a recipe, which she's not a person who likes to cook, but it could be a recipe, it could be um, a new trick on the skateboard, it could be physics, it doesn't matter. She loves to learn. So I can incorporate that into the employee appreciation and make something meaningful rather than just, hey, we're gonna go to lunch. So whether you're one of the people who's like, hey, they're lucky they have a job, or somebody else who has that, you know, I couldn't run this business or do any of what I do without them, which is a little bit more like me, then um, either way, 2020 was a really, really difficult year. You know, not just for us who own businesses, but also for our teams. They had to learn to work remotely. They were worried about COVID. There was all kinds of uncertainty in, out in the world. Family members who may have gotten sick. I mean, this year, I invite you to really show your appreciation for those team members who stuck with you and, uh, and got us through 2020 and let them know how much they matter. And a way that you can do that is to be really clear about what motivates them and what their passions and interests are, and then appreciate them in that form. If you took value from this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can download a white paper on the different profiles, including the Workplace Motivator, so you can learn a little bit more about that. And if you'd like to have the Workplace Motivator done on the people on your team, please feel free to reach out. Jody, J-O-D-Y, Johnson, at actioncoach.com. And we'll be happy to take care of it for you. That's it. Bye for now.